Warmer temps moving into the northeast, while heavy rain and possibly tornadoes are expected in the south. Meteorologist Lisa Meadows joins us now from Minneapolis, WCCO, with a look at the weather week ahead. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Tony. We're tracking this weather system right here across the central part of the U.S. It will interact with that moisture coming in from the Gulf, warm air mass, and that cold front producing severe weather as we head into this evening and tonight. Area in yellow, slight risk for severe storms. That's a two out of a five here. A few isolated tornadoes also looking at damaging winds, but the main threat with these storms will be hail. The area in the Hatch region across eastern Texas looking at lime size hail this evening and heading into tonight. Let's time it out with future radar. Looking at a line of thunderstorms developing in the Dallas metro area about the evening commute time frame. This will continue to push to the east overnight, influencing locations like Louisiana, also Arkansas. Then as we head into Tuesday, we'll watch the showers and storms across the southeastern portion of the U.S and also across central Florida, which could continue to bring some flooding in some of those locations. Good news for you, Tony, and those of you out across the East Coast, though. We are looking at a warm-up for the mid-Atlantic states. That's as we head into Wednesday, bringing the 60s to round out the end of the week. And no lime-sized hail. Think about those people in the Dallas area. Lisa, thank you very much.